so um, I know we have this waving thing in the chat. So just give me a wave if you can see my screen, and that would be super, super helpful. There we go. Oh, good waving. This is a good waving performance, may I say. Um, I know there's a way of me taking off the waving, but I can't figure out how to do that. But uh, anyway, good to see you guys. I always like uh, uh, chatting with you guys at Internet Business School. Very cerebral lot you are. And uh, Simon's been a good friend of mine for many years. And uh, uh, eventually, him having attended a couple of my events, eventually managed to sort of just persuade him to go and do what we do uh, when he had the time to do it and he found it was rather useful. So this is what we're sharing with you today anyway. So thank you very much for that, Claire. Really appreciate it. It's very nice to meet you as well. So today's training session is all is entitled The Big Money Strategy for Small Account Traders. And don't be put off by the fact that we're talking about small account traders. Some of you may not have small accounts. Some of you may start off with big accounts. It doesn't really matter. But it really does matter for those who have small accounts or would want to start small because it's not going to put you at any kind of disadvantage at all. In fact, on the contrary, it might put you at a small advantage as we will go through um, and you'll see. So here's the start of where we're going to start from and then where we're going to go to. Why do we focus on small accounts? Well, it's because it's a perception thing. Even those of you with six figures in your account, in your trading account, if you were to start that way, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend, but even if you did, you would still have the perception that you want to grow it. Otherwise, why do it in the first place? And so it's kind of like a universal perception that those people starting with a three-figure account, four-figure account, five, six, uh, and more, they all think they've got a small account, particularly compared to where they want to go. And that's obviously understandable. Patrick here in Canada thinks he has a small account, but he telegrammed me not long ago to say in one hour he made $4,500 with some fruity language, which for some people I, I kind of uh, obscure this one here. Um, but for you guys, I think we're all kind of grown up enough to see that that's okay. And then here's a guy you might recognize. Simon is his name. And he also kind of feels in a way he's got a bit of a small account, and yet he was able to, with the, with the technique I'm going to show you today, make you know, over $76,000 and crucially keep it, which is not what was a, he was able to do with the Bitcoin thing. And that's the difference. And so Simon and I go back to about 2008, 2009, and we've had uh, quite a lot of fun in the past together. We've met the uh, dragons and we've gone on... Uh, days uh, of driving days. Some of you will have joined uh, on that one. I might even have met one or two of you guys on that one. And even uh, down in Kent, uh, my grandfather was li uh, lived in Kent, so we went down when, Ke when uh, Simon was living nearby. So Simon and I go back a long way and uh, good pals as well. He can give you any kind of information on me that you might want to get. Um, now, when we're talking about small accounts, these three ladies have all had small accounts. They all started with small accounts. Pat turned $3,800 into $33,000 last year and this year, but in nine months. That's a small account start, pretty much. They've all more than 3 x their accounts. Chloe, you're going to hear a lot about her, turned $3,000 into forty-five, almost $46,000 and counting more, uh, and that completely changed her life. I'll tell you about her. And then there's Joyce, you know, a lady up in Lincolnshire, um, tripled her account from May to December uh, last year. Again, uh, tripled her account, starting with a small amount. So I really want, I'm here to sort of give you that kind of encouragement that this can be done and lots of people are doing it if they follow certain procedures. So what we're going to cover today is, first of all, why trade in the first place? Because you know, people like you guys have various choices and I'm going to go through what those choices are. It's what you're doing at Internet Business School as well. But why should trading be one of the choices that you should make or could consider making? Then we're going to talk about the secrets of growing a small account. Just very simple concepts. Now this is all leading up to something very important that I'm going to be going through in a little while. So the secrets of growing a small account. Simple concepts. Just get the pen out start writing things down because I'm not going to go into complex things today. That's the beauty of what we're doing. Then I'm going to go into the concept of why do prices actually move? This is a very important concept. Again, it's a simple concept, but once you understand it, it will completely change your perspective on your investments. And then we move on to, once we've done those foundations, then we're on to the big thing. This is called the big money footprints. 
essentially what we do is we follow what big money is doing because the belief is that big money knows more than we do. They have better research. They have unlimited amounts of, of research dollars in the market. They have privileged information. Stands to reason that we might want to follow that. So we have techniques and we have tools to help us to do exactly that. Let them do the hard work for us. Let's just follow what they're doing in a safe way. Then I'll show you how Chloe uh, and others have more than 3 x their small accounts in a very short space time, how you might be able to follow them, follow the kind of trades that they're doing. And then I'll show you a short demo as well, how you can find the best, de best setups in literally minutes. So imagine if that could be you. And what you will notice by the end of this training session is that all of these different trades are pretty much exactly the same. And when you know that you can repeat something that's pretty much the same over and over again with a high degree of probability, then you have a little business in a box. And it's one that can be very simple. And of course, you guys at Internet Business School are business people. You have your own businesses. You, you aspire to have that. This is a type of business. Again, Pat turned $10,000 into $26,000 from October to January in 2019. And here's the important thing that you need to realize, because she did it, she did something else more spectacular the following year. But what she did here, just in three months, 80% of those profits were just from five stocks. So that's not an awful lot of work, is it? That's not like her trawling around the internet trying to find opportunities. Uh, that's what she has been able to do. But then she did even better the following year, where she rebooted and then turned another small amount, $3,800, into $33,000 in nine months. Again, all using the same technique, the same kind of trades. And here's Joyce, again, three extra accounts since, you know, from May to December last year as well. I need to get an update from her. And so this is the community of what we call big money footprint traders. And the big money footprints is really what we're aspiring to get to in this training session. So we're going to lead up to it. We're going to build the foundations. And then we're going to talk to you about the big money footprints and what they entail and how you are going to follow those big money footprints as well. So by the end of the session, you will discover how you can be one of those people who has 3 x their account in a short space of time, just like others have done. And you're going to also learn how to do it crucially without having to take big risks. It's a common misconception that in order to make big returns, you have to take big risks or close your eyes and just hope for the best. Not the case. So by the end of this session, again, you'll see how you can follow the likes of Chloe and Pat and Joyce, Tobias, and many others I'll mention today who have used this exact formula to scale their accounts safely uh, and also pretty spectacularly as well. So the first learning point we get to is why trade at all? Uh, you guys have a lot of choices of what to do with your knowledge, uh, accumulation of knowledge, and what to do with uh, the money that you've accrued and, and want to invest. So what's important to people? Well, security is important to many of us, um, including me and probably including you as well. And we want the money to, A, do the things we want to do, but for a rainy day, just in case someone near us or, or us needs something at a particular moment in time. Having that buffer is a very nice thing to have. Now, obviously, that can also lead to leaving a legacy. That legacy can be a legacy of cash or also a legacy of knowledge and also a, le a legacy of experiences that we can enjoy with those people that we love. Now, for Roger, who I'll tell you about uh, during this, uh, <clears throat> during this uh, training session, it was all about for him in retirement, as he approached retirement, he wanted his brain to do something. He just wanted to keep his brain ticking over, as he said, but also to watch the world go by in cafes, doing gardening, going to the cinema, going to restaurants with his wife as well. And for some people, it's a bit more about the finer things, you know, more flashy things like cars and holidays and experiences as well. Depends on where you are in your life. But this is why people might look at trading as some, a path to that. Now, what about other paths to financial security, you'll be aware of real estate, property, buy to let type thing. And it's a fine thing to actually do. The only issue with it, it's an illiquid asset, and it can be hugely impacted by changes of government policy that literally can happen overnight, which could affect you know, debt and how you can, um, how you can offset uh, your profits, and obviously we had that a few years ago where they stopped allowing your um, interest payments to, to be set off against tax. It can be impacted, and you can have quite a lot of capital trapped in real estate, uh, which isn't uh, optimal, not too much. So you want to 
think about a spread and a balance in your portfolio. What about home-based businesses? Well, this is exactly where you guys are, isn't it? When you think about home-based businesses, whether it's ebook publishing, social media, uh, whether it's e-commerce of a sort, web design, whatever it is that you're doing and, you're, and you've got a home-based or a local-based business, the issue with it, of course, is time. And you'll probably all realize by now that uh, you have become uh, quite multitasking in your skill sets, which is, again, it's great, but it can sometimes lead to overwhelm and burnout as well. So again, there's a balance. Now, you guys are all entrepreneurial types, but they've got to, you've got to have a balance. Again, franchising is a very popular model in the business world, has been. But for franchising, you've got to know quite a lot of things, both accounting and legals. Uh, often that involves uh, a big upfront cost in terms of debt of buying the business or setting up that franchise. Again, can be quite risky. So what, um, why are we going to trade? We're going to talk about it in a second. But what is there to trade? Well, there's real estate, as we talked about. But again, you can have quite a lot of capital and debt trapped in there. So again, we're looking for a bit of balance in there. I've got no problem with real estate. I come from a real estate background originally. I love real estate. But there, it has to be there in balance. You don't want all your eggs in one basket. Then there's bonds and commodities. Now, these are tradable items, but I've got the cap and mortar board there because you need a very significant level of expertise and specialization to get into it. These are sort of lifelong uh, commitments, if you like. Now, crypto and Forex, let's talk about those. We've got the dice there, signifying it's kind of a bit of a gamble. As we know, with crypto, the only analysis one can really make truly is, did you get in early enough? That is the only thing. With Simon, as he's found, he made some money in crypto, and then it halved from April to June. Boom, the, the bottom fell out. Uh, it may recover, it may not recover, all these things. But no one actually really knows. It's not an investment per se. It's a punt, and that's why you've got the roll of the dice. It's a punt that may well work out well, but for a lot of people who bought at the top in April, it hasn't worked out too well for them. And they're going to have to either sweat it out or eat their losses. Same with Forex. There's no mathematical paradigm to actually help individual home-based investors, private investors, actually make money consistently from Forex. There is no, uh, there's no sort of quantitative edge one can have in Forex. So again, it's a bit of a roll and dice, and things that work today may well not and frequently do not work the next day or the next you know, few weeks. And then you've got alternative investments like you know, fine wines, classic cars, art, etc. Now, these are great, but again, they're illiquid. They're not particularly tradable. And again, one needs to specialize in them as well. So what's left? Well, what's left is stocks and shares. And the great thing about stocks and shares is that anyone can do them. Anyone can pick this up. The other part about stocks is they are exciting. Everyone talks about crypto being so exciting and this and that. This is overstocked last year. I've just uh, messed up there. Um, the, uh, this is overstocked last year. It 10 x in 120 days. That's four months. 10 x from a setup that you will get to know very well by the end of this session. So $1,000 turns into $10,000. So stocks actually can be exciting as well as being repeatable. Now, here's the beauty of it. You can learn them very quickly, and you can start as small as you like. It's simple to learn if you learn the right technique. And it's also got minimal startup costs compared to pretty much any other investment. It's very flexible. You can do it anywhere you like, anywhere in the world. As long as you've got an internet connection, you're good to go, and a device which to do it. And also, you can choose how much you do. You'll be very surprised when I reveal how little people are doing, and yet, achieving manifest results. And again, your results, whether you're doing it right or wrong, will have very quick feedback. You'll know very quickly whether you're on track or not. And the beautiful thing is, as you've seen from these people that I've talked about already, is that it's entirely scalable. You can grow, account, grow a small account very quickly following some simple protocols. And what we do in my world is we do something that's very simple. We do something that's entirely logical. We let technology take the strain for it. And what we are doing is something entirely different to anyone else, as I will also explain to you as well. Now, that begs the question, doesn't it? So if trading's so amazing, why aren't all traders millionaires? Why aren't all stock traders millionaires? Well, there are a few reasons why that might be the case. First of all is overwhelm. Now, overwhelm comes in a few forms. There's so much to learn, and also, where do you start? I mean, if this has been you, let me know. I mean, if you've had a situation where um, you just 
are presented with this vast topic of learning. Well, what do you trade? Stocks, bonds, um, you know, fine art, all those things. You just don't know where to start. Now, if that's been you, raise your hand and go, well, I didn't know where to start and I then didn't get started as a result. So okay, give me a wave of the hand if that's been you because we can solve that. And by the way, I've been in those shoes as well. Now, when you are overwhelmed as well, that leads to a problem with time because the learning curve can be very, very steep. Now, one of the time constraints that people have with trading is where you have a trading technique or system where you are actually having to stare at your screens all the time, you know, day in, day out, hour in, hour, hour, hour in, hour out. Now, for most entrepreneurs, that's a non-starter. For me, that's a non-starter as well. We do not do that. So if you think this is a trading system where you're going to have to keep eagle-eyed on your screens, don't worry. That's not what we do. So if you've been worried about that, you know, again, uh, raise your hand. That's not what we do. We don't do that. We let technology take the strain. We don't have to be watching our screens. And of course, the other time hog um, is the one of endlessly chasing the next holy grail and then getting burnt. Who's had that? Either in biz op or in trading kind of thing. Just raise your hand. We've all been there, haven't we? It's a common thing. People are always chasing the next thing. Everyone's making these big promises. But again, that doesn't have to be the case. The other part is, well, who do you trust? Who resonates with you? Which technique resonates with you, which coach resonates with you, which method resonates with you. Now, I have to deal with professionals as well. So I deal with hedge funds and um, professional money managers as well. And here's the thing they demand. They demand my track record. They have to see it. And so with the fund situations that we have, because we obviously fuel hedge funds and other things as well, we have to show them what we've done. And this is what we've done so far since we launched one of our funds in February last year. We are way ahead of the S&P, which we are compared to. So we're up here in blue, and the S&P is down here in red. And the S&P has done remarkably well. It's been done one of its best years ever. And so we're running, you know, in this particular fund, uh, almost $29 million. We have to show this. We have to demonstrate what we can do. And again, I would ask you with any form of wherever you're looking, Ask, see what your, what your intended coach has done, what's their track record. Because most private traders, people wanting to trade, never get past these hurdles. And instead, what happens is they end up feeling quite deflated. That's not going to happen to you. So I hope now I've, all, I've already explained why stocks is the thing to do. Because it's easy to get started, it's very scalable, and it's also repeatable. This is the big word. Maybe write it down, repeatable. Because that's what you do in your businesses, where you're trying to learn a way to make something repeatable so that you can make a great living from it. So the next part is secrets of growing a small account. This is really simple stuff, but this is where it starts. Feelings like being anxious about risk, if you're trying to grow something quickly, um, is very common. It's very understandable. One feels that if you're going to get that fast growth and 3x or 10x your account in a fairly short space of time, it would take massive amounts of risk and leverage and all this. We don't use leverage, actually. You don't need to use leverage at all. You don't need to. You can it in a safe way if you want, but we don't need to. So if you felt like that, again, raise your hand. It's all right. It's a common thing, but it doesn't have to be us. Also, if you've been worried that because you might be starting with a small account, there might be different rules for you. Like, oh, well, you know, it's all right for those big guys who start with, you know, 30,000 or more. What about me who's starting with two or 3,000? Well, as I've shown you already, there are people starting with those amounts who've done incredibly well and continue to do incredibly well. So do not worry. Um, it's, it's completely, completely understandable if you are worried. And of course, sometimes the fear is so much it becomes paralyzing and that people can't yet get started, don't get to place a real trade. So again, if that's been you in the past, just raise your hand. Uh, it's totally understandable. We've all been there, even me. I've been there many years ago too. And the great thing is there is good news because if you do follow the simple principles that I'm going to give you today, it can be just as easy with a small account as it is for a large account. And also what you can do as well, even in today's training session, you'll see what others have done and how they've done it. You see what's possible. You can be inspired, be confident about what you can do because really you're not alone. This is a very well-trodden path that we're going through as well. And I get very excited when I see new people in because, by the way, if you saw my dog uh, earlier, uh, Zippy, my long-haired dachshund, whoever got that right, um, he gets gifts from my members. It's quite an amazing thing. He's a very much part of our community, um, and, and my kids do as well. So you're, you, you know, there's a community here doing what we do, 
Now, the idea, the essence of what we're doing here is not risky. So I want to make that very clear. Although the returns can be very high, we don't go into high risk stuff. So we're looking typically at big stocks, large cap stocks, stocks that are stable and have presence. So we're looking at large cap. We're not looking at you know, penny stocks and those kind of things. And we're looking at what we call the big money footprints, which I will show you in great detail today. The big money footprints following the signs, the big money, the institutional money, the hedge funds, the large investors, the people who know more than what we do, following what they're doing. We have special tools and tricks to be able to do that. And again, we are inherently looking at low risk setups and a low risk plan as well. Whether the stock is going up or down, we can also make money as well. So let's talk about these three principles of growing a small account. And they're very simple. One is safety, one is growth, and the third is mindset. I'll go through them very quickly. At the heart of all this is keeping things simple. And if you stay on for the very end, uh, I will show you how to get your hands on this little book uh, that I wrote, Growth Secrets for Small Trading Accounts, and how other people have done more than 3 xing their account as well. So just hang in there to the end, and I will show you exactly how you can get your hands on that. Let's talk about safety first. First of all, don't bet the farm. You know, it's all very well being a risk taker, but don't risk everything where you can't then restart. Okay, control your risk. This is a very simple principle. I don't need to go into it. The second piece is let's look at Pat and let's look at Chloe. Look how many trades on average they make on a week, Ever, uh, on average, just over one a week. Now that's pretty manageable, isn't it? On average, and look what they did. Again, almost 10x and then 15x here, 1400% there. And here's the principles, less is more, a few trades at the absolute maximum at the same time, you know, not 20, maybe two or three, that kind of thing. And they are being fussy. It's about quality, not quantity. And I'll show you about quality as we go ahead. The other secret here to safety is that we are not looking to hit a home run every time. If you compound quite a few decent returns, suddenly that turns into a home run. Obviously, we don't exclude the possibility of making home runs, but you want to make easy to reach profit targets. Give me a wave if that makes sense. We're not looking to say risk one to make four every time. It's a crazy thing to do because the odds would be against you. So we set modest profit targets to get to a point of safety first. Huge principle there. Now let's talk about the growth side of things. Well, first of all, you've got to specialize because as we all know, if you specialize, that's where you make the money, most money. A brain surgeon makes more than a GP. GPs do very well, but a brain surgeon makes more, that kind of thing. So even in sports, in every field of life, the people who specialize make the most. We specialize in these big money footprints and that's what you're gonna to learn today as well. Now we can also focus, we can narrow our focus on not just a technique, but also on a specific list of stocks. That means our workload is dramatically reduced. We save a lot of time and we make more. That seems to make sense, doesn't it? And that's very much the essence of what my best members do. We also avoid things that are volatile and messy and just look ugly. I'll show you what that looks like as well. And we don't try and be too clever. We don't try and outwit the market. If the trend is up, we're gonna trend we're going to trade with that. If the trend is down, we're going to either avoid that or trade with that direction as well. We're not trying to be too clever here. And the third part is mindset. Now, there's a big word in trading and life and all that, and it starts with a D, and I call it the D word, and it's called discipline. And it's a very, you know, it's a word that some people don't really like, isn't it? So I don't use that word. I use the word guidelines because guidelines are liberating. Once you know what to do, then it excludes all those other possibilities that could waste your time and lose you money. So if you have guidelines in something that works, that's liberating, that's fun. You can just rinse and repeat and repeat and repeat. And that's what propels you into elite group. And that's what the top people in every field do. They've mastered their art and they repeat over and over again. Just give me a wave if that makes sense. So you master something that actually works and then you repeat. Now, this is Tobias, I've got to tell you about him. This is a great one. Tobias was what we would call an awkward member for a while because he didn't want to do what he, what, what the guidelines were suggesting he should do. And then it came to the point, he goes, right, I'm just gonna do it now. 
And then literally, this is in February this year, he writes in during a webinar just like this, and he goes, my winning's now 24 out of 25. Don't know how long this can go on. He was like almost beside himself. Like, God, it's now happening for me. And it's still happening for him as well. So this is the kind of thing that's happening over and over again. And here's a little secret you can use. Imagine, if you don't have someone there right with you doing this, imagine that you had to explain yourself to someone, maybe like me. So you've got to look at me and you've got to go, Guy, I am making this trade because of X, Y, Z. And you've got to then demonstrate those guidelines that I've taught you in order to justify the trade. Think of the difference that would make if you can't just go into a trade willy-nilly and you know have a punt and a gamble, you've actually got to explain it. Now I'm doing it for a reason, A, B, and C, according to the rules. Isn't that going to change how your results are, especially when you see what those guidelines are in just a few minutes? Now, the other thing we talked about was setting your profits uh, at, a, at an achievable level. So securing profits early is a mindset thing. It's a technique, but it's a mindset thing. Once you master that, you will avoid one of the biggest problems that everyone has in trading and in life, and that is letting a good win turn into a loss. Who has let a good win turn into a loss in any form of their lives? Who's let something, you know, snatch defeat from the jaws of victory? Who has done that? Come on, everyone should be putting their hands on that. We've all done it, and to an extent, we'll probably do it again in the future. But if you understand that concept, you will transform your results. So don't get greedy. Focus on quality, not on quantity, and you will see the same kind of results that other people have been getting. Again, keep it simple. Now, the way that I keep things simple is I let technology take the strain. Um, so what the technology is doing is not simple, but technology makes it simple for us as well. So here's another thing about keeping it simple. Remember one thing, trading is a not about anything other than people. And those people are buyers and sellers. And the secret is to be on the winning side. Who's winning the battle, that tug of war between buyers and sellers? Think it through. Uh, when you look at the trading floors of the NYSE or the, foot, or the London Stock Exchange, it used to be full of people shouting and screaming, one set of buyers, one set of sellers. You want to be on the winning side. If any of you have seen a chart like this for your trading, this will be pretty much guaranteed to lose you money. It is too complicated. It will cause inertia and confusion, analysis paralysis, all those things. That is not what you're looking at, what you're looking for. What you are looking for is something simple where you can see instantly whether or not there is an imbalance between buyers and sellers and who is winning that tug of war. Give me a wave if that makes sense. It's almost anthropomorphizing the game. You are looking to see who's winning. This will not show you that, but this will show you that. Who's winning the war? And if you can't see who's winning the war, then you don't play that particular game. It's kind of like that. So now we've done why stocks, they're exciting and accessible and easy to start with, and why, what the secrets are of growing that small account. Now we're going to talk about why prices move, and then onto the big money footprints. So why do prices move? Well, let's understand first um, about how may a house price might move. I'm going to give you three scenarios, and with each scenario, there's a very important lesson that will pertain to trading as well, and it's going to unlock those secrets. So imagine this beautiful home is on offer for $950,000. I'm gonna use dollars, I know we're in sterling here, but I'm gonna use dollars here. And here are these people uh, willing to make offers on this lovely home. So Bob offers $950,000, which is the asking price, and so does Sue, and so does Jim. And guess what, so does everyone else. Now what's happened to the price? Answer, nothing, because everyone's offering the same. So the learning point is that loads of offers are coming in on this property, but the price hasn't moved. Give me a wave if that makes sense because everyone's offering the same price. Scenario two, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, you name it, but big, big corporation opens their headquarters five miles down the road, bringing in new people, well-heeled, well-paid, wanting higher standards, wanting new homes, that's gonna increase demand, wanting new facilities, leisure, gyms, uh, parks, uh, you know, uh, cinemas, restaurants. What's going to happen to the area? It's going to get better, isn't it? So Bob gets that information. It's public information, by the way. So this is called the new information. 
And guess what? He thinks, you know what? I think this area is going to get better. I'm prepared to bid more. And then Sue says, oh, I'm prepared to bid more as well. So she bids 970. Then you get the same information. You go, well, I think it's going to be even better. I want this home and I, and I want it now. I'm going to bid 990. And you see what's happening, don't you? Jim wants it more. You now up your bid. You're in a bidding war now. And that bidding war creates price movement. So big money alone doesn't move price, but big aggressive money will move price. Give me a wave if that makes sense. It's exciting when you understand these dynamics. It's super, super exciting. Now there is a third scenario, and this one is very special because it's not just information, but it's scarce information. And this is a vital concept to appreciate, understand, and also grow to love. Now, Bob's previous bid was $960,000. And Bob is you know, quite a worker, and he has done an awful lot of due diligence to the point where he actually went and you know, went around all the neighborhood on foot. And he found there's a big pass of land owned by an old couple who are willing to sell it, provided no one knows, provided it's done in private. So this pass of land behind this property is available privately. Now he knows that with that extra pass of land that he could also get, he's going to dramatically increase the value of the boat. He can either build new homes at the back of it or increase the size of his own property, expand it, and do whatever he likes. But he knows if he can get both, it's going to be a massive advantage to him. And guess what? He's the only one with that information. So what does Bob have? He has scarce information. And with that scarce information, he's prepared to outbid pretty much everyone else. And here's the situation. You need to be someone who has hold of scarce information because automatically that will put you at an advantage rather than Bob getting your dream home. So the learning point here is that information is valuable, but scarce information is life changing. Give me a wave if that concept is pretty easy to, to get. Now, let me explain it to you in another way. Um, if you were a diamond dealer, you would have specific diamond education. And that diamond education about cut clarity, color source, you know, all those carrot, that would put you at an advantage to the man on the street. So that's why a typical diamond retails at 100 to 200 percent more than what the diamond dealer paid for it, because they have that scarce information, as does Coca-Cola. Their scarce information is the secret formula held in this secret vault, making them billions of dollars, a billion, multi-billion dollar corporation, as is KFC. It's a secret recipe scarce information. Now, what these guys have all done with their scarce information is repeat, rinse and repeat over and over and over again. Does that make sense to you? Just give me a wave if that makes sense there. Raise your hand there because this is the essence, isn't it? Scarce information means repeatable profits. And that's what you're after. And that's what you're looking for. So this is a life-changing thing. And what we're looking for is to be the diamond dealer of the stock market, you in possession of scarce information. So now you are prepared and equipped to face the big money footprints. And this is where it gets super, super exciting. What are the big money footprints? Well, there are little signs, telltale signs, where you can see where big aggressive money is not only present already in a stock, but it's lining up potentially for more. And sometimes that can be a lot more. Now, three of these footprints are readily available for you to exploit now. You don't even need me. I'm going to show you what they are. And if you can identify those, you literally will have that lifelong skill to make money consistently and repeat over and over again. Just very quickly um, about me, I am a nerdy professional trader. I've made over seven figures and thousands of percent in personal gains. So I started from a small account as well, including runs like turning like 14 and a half thousand into 187,641 in just six, in six months. Done that kind of thing a few times. But also, I'm the founder of Wise Traders, which is committed to helping private investors, because we are all private investors as well in our own right, also achieve great gains. Now, I'm, you may or may not have seen me on media like Reuters and Bloomberg and other TV channels, mainly in America, to be fair. Um, but I've also written four best-selling books. I've also had blue chip clients, including the New York Stock Exchange for nine years and the International Securities Exchange, where I licensed them software and did some data and analytics for them as a client, um, or they were my client. And what I remember a lot from working with the blue chips and seeing the vast amounts of money flowing through you know, the exchanges is that 
at the end of the day, seeing people on the exchanges, it's all about people. It, was, it resonated with me. It meant that your chart, whatever you're looking at, must explain what two sets of people are doing, buyers versus sellers, and who is winning that tug of war. And because of the work that I've done and the respect that I've had and the systems I've built, I've been able to put myself now in very recent times into the position where we are helping professionals manage money for their clients. We've but over 30 million now in 17 months from a standing start. In fact, it started from literally about $20,000 in February 2020. And in that 17 months, it's grown in terms of funds coming in. And you can see the kind of results that we've been getting, beating the S&P by almost 40%, uh, obviously varies from day to day. But also over the long term in tested systems, our systems have beaten the S&P which, against which they're measured by a factor of tenfold since 2005. So if you put money into the S&P, $10,000 in the S&P 15 odd years ago, you would be now at 40 odd thousand. But if you put them into my systems, which is based on what I'm about to show you today, you would be at 440,000. So a tenfold increase. And that's why I'm getting the big fees of six figures from professionals um, who are literally hiring me to help them run their funds as well. So hopefully that gives you an idea of who I am, where I've come from, what I do. And this has also spawned a, pro, a community of private investors around the world who are all doing what we do. Now, we are small in number relative to the size of number of traders out there. If you think that Robin Hood has, what, 15 odd million accounts, you know, we are just, you know, a few hundred. So we don't, diet, we don't, we don't affect the needle. Don't worry about that uh, in terms of what we're doing in the accounts. And when it comes to the individual level, where we're transforming results, transforming lives. Chloe is more than 14 x her account. It's actually 15 x her account in 30 months. Uh, again, starting from a small account size of $3,000 and now over $45,000. And she's done that with just over one trade a week in that time. So not an awful lot, but over 155 trades now. This is no fluke. And she'd almost given up. Now she's traveled the world and she actually works for us now as, as a coach. Then there's Roger at retirement age. His profits are now up to $685,000. He's actually based in the UK. And again, in his words, it's transformed his retirement life after many years of frustration. So this is the kind of thing we can do. Um, it's not just about the money. It's about the legacy. For me, it's about the legacy of spending time with my kids. It was his first day at school, my, my son's first day at school. I was able to be very much part of that, which was great. In a normal job, I wouldn't have been able to be part of that. But it's also a legacy of education and knowledge that I can also transfer to my kids and also what I can do for them in a very short space of time is able to almost double their little account that I set up for them. Just when I chose to do it, you know, I don't always want to be involved in markets. And again, we don't have to be doing this all the time. That's the beauty of it. We can sort of turn it on if we like when, when the circumstances are, are, are conducive for it, are advantageous. Now, very quickly, where did this all start? How did I get into this? Because my background had been real estate. Well, in my early 20s, I had a very nasty illness um, for which I wrote a book. I helped people get over it. Uh, I had an illness called ulcerative colitis. It was like Crohn's disease. Very debilitating. I was housebound and all this stuff. I'm not going to go into that now. But long and short, it is that <clears throat> um, I then, once I'd got over it using certain techniques, I then knew that I needed to bolster my financial education. So I took an MBA at Cass Business School, and uh, which has just changed its name, I think, to Bayes or something. Now, I had two professors there, very important. This guy's Gordon, and this guy's Kevin. Gordon was a nerdy professor, never traded, never made money in trading, but obviously knew his stuff. This guy here, Kevin, he knew his stuff, but he was actually a visiting guest professor, and he made millions in the markets as well. But both of them in, one, in different lectures said, the same thing. And it was very interesting to me to hear two people from different you know, perspectives say the same thing. And it really hit me hard. And this was this. They said, if you want to make big money in the markets, then you must follow the big money. Now, let's drill down into it a little bit more. What did they mean by that? And what did they say? Well, let's first, you can follow the stock investors, the pension funds, the institutions, the, you know, the, yeah, the, the insurance companies, fine. But what they said you really got to focus on is these people the options traders, because these are the people taking the bigger risks. These are the people literally betting big. You know, they are willing to risk more in order to make more. And they invest enormous sums in their research. And they have sometimes information that might be 
different to what other people may have. And they're spending an awful lot of money on that information. They're taking bigger risks percentage wise. Now this MBA would now cost for one year, $57,000. And they just gave me this thing here. This is the biggest thing I took from the MBA in total is like, follow the big money. The question is, how? How am I going to do that? You know, this is a big thing. Because in 1997, when, this, when I was doing this, this was the year that IBM's supercomputer using the first you know, bits of artificial intelligence as we know it today, beat a champion at chess, Gary Kasparov being beaten by the deep blue AI machine. And for me, I felt that maybe if I could create my AI machine to follow big money, this would be my big, big chance as well. Now, unfortunately for me, what I discovered fairly shortly was that this would take many years of research because this is not a trivial task. It would involve billions of rows of market data, which it has done. It would involve quantitative analysts. These are the eggheads of Wall Street and the city uh, who are super, super bright. They only deal in numbers. It would need specialist programmers, industrial sized servers, and specific specialized expensive expertise as well. And all that would not only take years, but it would take millions of dollars to do. So I was literally hitting my head against a brick wall. But what I did discover in this process was that there are three other big money footprints which can fuel serious success. And that's exactly what we're going to now talk about. So let's talk about the big money footprints because this is what it's all about. So what are they? Well, elite investors trade with billions of dollars literally every single day every single day billions of the dollars this way you understand the scale of this thing but the activity does leave a trail but that trail is invisible to the untrained eye and that's the difficulty that most people have they don't even know what to look for let alone the fact that it might exist but if you can find that trail you are then in possession of scarce information this is the thing. And if you can find that trail as well, then you can bank consistent profits, you remove guesswork, eliminate overwhelm, and ultimately save time. So you get the results and a massive time saver as well. So let's talk about the three big money footprints as we know them so far. And remember, big aggressive money is what moves prices. So the first big money footprint is the presence of big money. We want to see evidence that big money is already in a stock. I'll show you how, how to find that in a minute. The next thing to remember from our example earlier is that big money alone isn't enough. It needs to be what? Aggressive. It needs big aggression needs to be present in order that the price can and has moved already and then can move again in the future. And the third big money footprint is all about what I call eyeballs. We want to make sure that there are eyeballs looking at this stock. Other people might not be able to see them, but we can because the stock is getting attention of those big money players. So we're talking about what we call key levels, because there are certain key levels that happen in the markets where you know that alerts and alarms are trained on them, and now bigger players might be interested in that particular stock. So big money, aggression, and key levels. Let me explain each one of them very simply. When it comes to big money, um, we talk about volume. Now, volume is just the number of shares being traded on a stock every single day, and it's represented by a bar chart. And when the price has gone up, the volume will be represented in green. And when the price has gone down, the volume will be represented in red. If we are looking to profit from stocks that have gone up or that are going to go up, then we want to see big green bars. Give me a wave if that makes sense. We want to see big green bars. I mean, tall towers, you know, sailing above the other ones. So we call that a volume rush or a volume pocket. And if you look at this chart here, I want you to look near this little footprint here. And do you see big green bars towering above the others. Just give me a wave if you see that, if you just see the big green bars. Now, this was one thing that was happening, and this fueled a 11% move in just seven days, 11% in just seven days, or just over 2,000 in profits. So that's big money. We want to see that. We can easily find that. The second big money footprint, as we talked about, was aggression. We want to see that the price of the stock has already capable of moving, because if the stock doesn't move, then what's the point, right? So we want to see a jump, something where this price of a stock can move, has demonstrated its ability to move. Ideally, it moves and then goes sideways for a bit, like this, price goes up and then goes sideways. We love that. So we want to see evidence that the stock price can move. Now here's tractor supply. 
And what you'll see is a little ring here around a red bell. That means it was an earnings report. In the US, they report earnings four times a year. And what happens at earnings often is it can fuel a price move. And that price move may just be the beginning of something bigger. So you see the price move and then go sideways. And yet, right afterwards is the fun time. We didn't have to bet on earnings. We could wait until after earnings, until all the uncertainty is out of the way. And then there's another move that happens 27% in seven weeks, three and a bit thousand dollars there. So that's the aggression piece. The third big money footprint is one of key levels. And again, it's all about eyeballs trained on certain levels. And the simplest of them is literally the 200 day moving average. You can also use the 50 as well, but this is one of them. And what we look for is a stock price to rise above it and stay above it. Rise above and stay above. Very simple concept because now we know that the trading desks of professionals and fund managers and hedge funds and big investors are getting alerts. This stock has just crossed this line. It was made famous by a hedge fund manager called Paul Tudor Jones, who would never invest in the stock below its 200 day moving average. But that's why eyeballs are trained. Now, what that means is that potentially there might be more demand for this. Oh, hang on, we've missed this, boys. Ah, oh, it looks pretty good. We like our analysis. Let's buy more. Now it's crossed that sort of that, that key level. And so if you look at Lavungo here, look at the footprint, does the price go up through the key level, that, that red line? Yes, it does. Does it stay above? Yes, it does. And then the result is 160%, two and a half bagger in 11 weeks, $4,800 in that case. So that's the third big money footprint. Now, what about we put them all together? Because with that same chart of Lavungo, it wasn't just the fact that we had the crossing of a key level. It was also that we had big money present beforehand. Just give me a wave if you see the big volume where my mouse is. Do you see it there? So big volume present. We know big money is already interested in this one. We also know that it's aggressive because the stock price has gone within a couple of weeks from 20 up to 30. That's a 50% move. That's a big move. Right. And of course, it has crossed and held that key level as well. We now know that there is a possibility that big money is going to continue and increase its situation in this stock. And that's what fueled 160 percent in 11 weeks with Lavungo. And guess what? If you look at the other trades I just showed you with Perk and Elmer, not wise after Bentley, these are ones we're involved in. Perk and Elmer, all big money footprints were involved. And the same with tractor supply, all the big money footprints were involved. So this is all we need to know. This is all we want to know. Now, can it work with stocks going down because the markets don't, don't go up forever? Well, it sure can, and it sure does. Here's Roku, TV streaming company. It went down in a big way. That's a big money footprint, big volume. Look at that, that's a big red bar, volume selling out of it. Lots of supply coming into the market. And it does cross and stay crossed through the key level. And that then precipitates a 50% drop in 15 days. That's halving of the price. Now, if you're on the short side there, that is a windfall very quickly with Roku. Does it work with big, big stocks like Amazon, several thousand dollar stocks? Absolutely. And with small stocks as well, whether it's you know, $5, $10, you know, small price stocks as well. Here's with Altamune earlier this year as well. Also with Kirkland, which I'll show you in just a little bit. So recap here, we filter for that volume rush for big money. We filter for the price jump for the aggression and we filter for those key levels. We can do that literally in the click of a button, but there is one other big money footprint, which I will want to come to a little bit later. And that is the big money footprint of scarce information. Do you remember from earlier how scarce information can be completely transformative? If you can add that to your... Uh, armory, then you're really going to be a very special trader. And this is the sort of thing that happens when you have that scarce information. This was Rohan who wrote me uh, wrote to me not long ago about DIG, and he just made 25% profit in just seven days. Again, all with those big money footprints present, plus that little bit of extra magic of scarce information, which I'll come to in a little bit. Now, there's one other component that you also need, and that is a trade plan. It's like a little business plan, but it literally takes a few seconds to put together a trade plan. What does a trade plan do? 
Well, it's there to help you be in control of the trade right from the very beginning, to control risk by being involved in only the right setups at the right time, and to also make sure, do you remember what we said earlier, to make sure that a decent profit doesn't turn into a loss. So we have that as part of our four-step formula for a trade plan. Now, I, tra I train you with all this in my flag trader package, which is uh, a package I'll talk to you about in a minute. But this is where literally in a click of a button, you can filter the in, pretty much the entire market, um, which we're not interested in anyway, but the entire market into a handful of high probability setups, literally in a click. Now, what's involved are tools, tools to help you do that, again, in a click, and also the training. Now, we're not talking about hundreds of hours of training. We're talking about pretty much a day of training, about eight and a half hours of training. Okay, that is not a difficult thing to do. You can spread it out over a few days or a few weeks, or you can literally, you know, binge it in one day. And this is how, with our support as well, you'll be able to start generating that consistent profitable income. And you'll see how other people have done it. You'll be part of that community. And within a few days and weeks, you can be confident and establish that consistency without having to work particularly hard and still have time to do the other things you want to do in your life and, what, and the things you enjoy the very most as well. So let me just give you an idea of how it feels to, to do this. And then we're going to get on to the scarce information piece as well. So first of all, you log into a private members area um, on a device like an iPad or a laptop or a desktop, whatever is good for you. Uh, and then you click on a button, which is what we call a fast filter, which you can do uh, in just a couple of clicks. You can make it, you can make it a bigger process if you want, but it can literally boil down to clicking a button for a, the best of the best filters. And then with the training that you've received, you know which are the ripe setups at the right time. And you can trade safely using the trading plan that we've taught you as well. It's literally that simple. And this is the kind of operation that, uh, that I uh, preside over. This is David. He's one of our long-term long members. And he goes, I am blown away by all the constant and continuous updates, developments, and ongoing ways making the whole system more intuitive and easier to use. I love you guys. So this is who we are, what we do, what we practice. This was just only a few weeks ago, CRISPR. Again, big money footprint trade, 30% profit in just seven days. It was ever so easy to find in that one. And this is what Joel wrote just literally last month. He goes, I gave a gift pack out to people who've attended a particular event. And he says, I received the gift pack and really appreciate it, but I have to tell you the greatest gift is your software. It saves so much time. And combined with your trading plan, I've been able to finally start making consistent profits. This is pretty much in a nutshell what it's all about. And we love receiving this. And this is what Pat does. The same thing over and over again, started with that small account and transformed it You know, in the second time around from 3,800 to 33,000 in just nine months. And all of these trades that she made are all big money footprint trades. So here's what's involved. And again, we're going to go into the scarce information very shortly. So that's another big piece of this. But with Flag Trader, what you get is automated software to find those big money stocks literally in a click. We, that's worth 1997, but it's not available anywhere else. So pretty much priceless. Then watch this, fast filter watch this, where literally at a click of a button, you can see stocks that are already primed and good. And all you need to do is just look at, your, look at them and see which one is the best one to go for uh, at the right time. 1997 value there, done for you. Then the bite-sized training videos. So we're not talking about hundreds of hours, we're talking about eight and a half hours, about a day's worth of training, all segmented beautifully in their right compartments. So if there's any area that you want to go back and revisit, you can go back to that particular part and you don't have to mess around with your buttons or anything. You can go to a particular bit. If it's your four-step trading plan that you want to review, you can do that because we also have a session on that. So this is a particularly important part of it. Again, that has a 997 value, but no one else does this. So pretty much invaluable. Then support. Support and being with you as part of your journey is a crucial part, has a value of 1164. And again, the kind of comments we get even on Twitter is, you know, thanks to your team for your hard work. Thanks to your diligence and persistence. And, you know, here's Ollie saying, I had difficulty yesterday, but it was straightened out within minutes of my reporting it to support exemplary follow-up. That kind of thing. That's the kind of support that we commit to and that you'll get as well. Now, the total value of all this, you'll be able to save time um, and be able to do things in an automated fashion and help scale your account. 
The total value is 8,152. 8, if you go to our website, wisetraders.com, you will find this package there, but you'll find it at 2997 because that is the price people pay if they're not invited to special events like this. But for you guys, Simon's friends and now Claire's friends um, is 997. And it is per annum and it is grandfathered in for you as well. If you go in at this price, that's the price you will pay in the future as well, which is incredibly cheap because the pound is pretty strong against the dollar right now as well. So that's pretty cool. Now, I did tell you, I'll show you how to pick it up a bit later. Now, we talked earlier about scarce information. Remember scarce information that the diamond dealer uses to their advantage? Coca-Cola secret formula, KFC secret formula, uh, creating billions of dollars of value in, in, in terms of repeatable profits. Information is valuable, but scarce information, that's the golden ticket. That's life changing. Well, let's get into that. Why am I getting paid big sums from professional money managers? Answer, scarce information. Why do we consistently outperform the markets? Answer, scarce information. Scarce information in the short term, scarce information in the long term. What were my professors talking about when they say, follow the options traders, follow the big money? What were they really talking about when they said, follow the options traders? They were talking about scarce information. And when I said that I realized at the time, back in you know, the late 90s, that it would require years of research, billions of rows of market data, quantitative analysts, specialist programmers, industrial size servers, and expertise of a specialist kind, and millions of dollars. Well, guess what? That's exactly what it took. It took all those years and it took all of those factors to create something that literally is scarce information. And the scarce information, the very same scarce information that helped Roger make his profits of $685,000 dollars after six years of trying and failing with other methods and transforming his retirement life. And this is what he saw. He saw this little ad that said, do you have the skill to spot where this line crosses from negative to positive? And that's how simple our scarce information is. Let me show you what it is about in just a minute. But this concept of scarce information that I created called the Options Volatility Indicator or OVI is now patented in the United States. There's the patent number there. And it has a particular importance why it's patented and how it's patented, which I don't need to go into. But this is all about scarce information. And here's how the OVI works. It's following the sentiment of options traders in particular stocks. And so it's revealing what we can see um, being things that other people can't see. It's effectively like hidden money. And it's knowing what they're doing on a persistent basis, what they're building positions in. So with Overstock here, it goes down from 22 and goes down to about $9, and then back up from $9 all the way back up to you know, 26. Now, you would expect the OVI to be doing something at this point. And the way it works is very simple. When the OVI is red and persistent, we're looking at stocks going down. And when it's blue and consistent, we're looking at stocks going up, potentially. And if they are conferring with each other, we have opportunities. So with Overstock, it was broadly red as the stock price went down. And of course, when the stock price is going up, guess what? The OVI was giving a heads up on that one because it was persistently blue. Now, what we found is the OVI is improving performance by around 71%. Now that's pretty important, but for Chloe, it improved it by more than 100%. In fact, Chloe had lost all of her account bar $3,000 before she met us. And then she's raising it you know, by 15X in actual fact now. And so that also in, involved a dream trip to Europe, which she'd never been to before. And it also involved now she works for me. With Kyle, slightly different, a retiree, his win rate was 30%, three out of 10 win rate before. Now, 80% win rate, eight out of 10 win rate. That's better than a 71% performance enhancement as well. So understated that. And for him, now his trading profits exceed his social security, which for him is a very big deal. And again, all through scarce information in one button. So we're not talking about three big money footprints anymore. We're actually talking about four big money footprints and the hidden money, the scarce information being that fourth big money footprint. So look at the chart of Lavungo again, and you'll be familiar with the volume spike. You'll be familiar with the big move and you'll be familiar with the cross and hold of that key level, three big money footprints. But guess what? Right in front of you all the time was the fourth. And the only reason it's in front of you is because we're the only ones who have it and it's on this particular chart. There is the OVI, thick, consistent blue, 
guess what? The big players, the hidden players, the options players are involved before the big rise. Just give me a wave if you can see it, the fourth big money footprint. Give me a wave if you can see that. Now, that's what we call a full house. And we stick the trading plan on, on top of that. Scarce information. Remember I showed you about Perkin Elmer earlier. Well, hang on, scarce information lurking around that no one else can see other than our little group. Isn't that pretty cool? Again, 11% in seven days. With tractor supply, guess what? Scarce information lurking around before, during, and after as well. So you see how this works. Now we look at these big money footprints, but we're seeing one that no one else could even dream to see, that fourth one. With Roku, what about that? Well, guess what? The options traders don't like this very much, and that's also what precipitated that 50% drop in Roku. Imagine being on the right side of that one, how much fun that would be, 50% in 15 days. That's a windfall in just a few days with Roku, with all the big money footprints there in evidence. Again, with Amazon, works with that. With small stocks like CRISPR, like we still did earlier as well, that too. This is just only about a month ago, 30% in seven days. This is one with Kirkland. We did this last year. This is really good fun. We were talking about it in the group, uh, in our private groups. And we said, look, you know what? I know this is only a $1.50 stock, but actually something's going on here. We can see all big money footprints in evidence here. And, you know, this is kind of interesting. And uh, sure enough, it doubled in six days. Double in six days. But that wasn't the end of it. Actually, Paul wrote into our uh, Twitter who said immediate first profit target on that one, that was P1, and now I'm setting it for the next profit target. And guess what, it reached that pretty quickly. And it didn't just double, in another two months, it was up by seven and a half fold, from one and a half all the way up to $13. And it didn't stop there either, it kept on going. So literally, you know, 12 and a half bagger, literally in the next eight months as well. This is the kind of thing that can happen. Um, with these kind of things. And stocks can be super exciting um, if you play them the right way and if you're patient and look for quality, not quantity. Here was Leg Mason. Again, all four big money footprints are in evidence on this one. And what happened with this one was really interesting. It was a perfect setup. And then this happened. Perfect setup after the earnings, which is good. That's a catalyst for big moves. And it then got taken over a few weeks later, giving us a 34% profit in just three weeks, $3,900 there. So not three big money footprints, fourth, and the fourth is all about scarce information. So now what I wanna do is just show you very quickly what Chloe has done. I'll give you a quick case study of how she has multiplied her account many times. And it's the same for Pat and the same for many others as well. So these three ladies literally don't trade very much, but even just open one trade a week can potentially 10x an account, as it has done with a couple of those ones, and 3xing in another one. And here's the thing. Remember we said that Chloe only trades a certain number of stocks, so she's very patient, and also only a couple of setups. Well, that's what we call specializing. Less is more. As it so we only trade one or two setups, and some of us only trade a, from a very small pool of stocks as well. That's how Pat has almost 10x. That's how Chloe has 15x in such a short space of time. So with Chloe, it's between 35 and 40 stocks. So one or two setups, small number of stocks, taking profits quickly and early, not being greedy. And remember with Pat, about 20% of her profits are all on Apple. So she's doing this. When Apple does what it needs to do in big money footprint terms, she trades Apple. So that's pretty nice. That's a pretty cool thing to be able to do. And look at the results, you know, from $3,800 to $33,000 literally in nine months last year. So they also limit their risk. They're not big risk takers. They limit their risk, okay? So fussy, and they keep it simple as well because they're specializing. We're able to keep it simple. Quick thing, uh, quick note on what they say. It's really important what people say. So back in 2018, Chloe says, I wanted to thank you for conducting the one-to-one -one session back in June. This is in October. And she goes, I was really struggling, but your plan has helped me grow my trading account by 78% since June. Imagine the transformation. She's pretty much lost all her trading account. And that was up by 78%, almost doubled in three months. Her winning ratio was now over 70%. Pretty good. Fast forward to this year, and her entire account started at 3,000, now at 45,830 return 
428%. That's a 15x. And since that time, she's done you know, 1.19 trades a week, which is 155 trades in that time. Guess what? That is no fluke. You know, this is not just one or two good performances. This is a consistent, repeatable performance. The same with Pat. Her win rate slightly less, but again, same kind of deal, turning 3,800 to 33,000 today. I know, I know this thing works, is what she says there. So let's look at Chloe's trades, because we could look at Pat's as well, but let's look at Chloe's. And what you'll see here with these, I'm just going to show you the chart. Instantly, you'll see the big money footprints, particularly, obviously, the scarce information, the hidden money footprint, number four. But you'll see that immediately with Adobe, 34%. Profit with advanced micro, um, 41, 42% profit. Look, the scarce information is there. Uh, Marriott, again, 20% in just a few days, scarce information present. Uh, and this is the Russell, again, scarce information as well, 23, 24%. That's what Chloe's doing over and over and over again. Alibaba, do you see the common denominator here? Just give me a wave if you see it instantly that even now you can already see big money footprints present particularly that one of scarce information this is all we're doing guys we're doing it in a specific way at a specific time so now i'm just going to show you kind of how you could do this and how you find the best setups in just a few minutes and again i remember this um little icon here is pretty cool this is a click this is saving time and this is scale that's what those little uh, things mean there just a nice little memory uh, jogger there now, the way you can do this is in two parts. You can do it manually. I've already told you what you're looking for, and you can choose from a basket of stocks. You could, you could do the whole market, or you could do 500 from the S&P 500. And you could save a watch list of the stocks that from day to day are meeting the criteria for you know, big stocks and big money footprints. You could do that uh, if you wanted to do that. Um, I've given you the information for those three big money footprints. And if you do have access to the OVI um, through me, then you could also include that in your analysis if you had that. And then you could find a way of learning my training plan and you could enter it safely. Now, that would take a fair bit of time to do it manually. There is another way, and that's an automated way. Literally finding the best big money footprint opportunities in a couple of clicks. Managing the trade with my trade plan, um, which is exactly what I teach in my Flag Trader program, and then repeating, rinse and repeat for scale over a short space of time and then in the long term because it becomes your little business as well on the side so this is how we cut the learning curve with intuitive software on various devices that you can use you can use it on any device that you use it's all there for nothing to download and it's our proprietary software patented software that where you can grow a small account and also make a big account even bigger and this is all we're doing. We're doing big money footprint trades in a way that no one else can do because they don't have the OVI and no one else does. And we're doing it crucially in a single click to find those setups. So this is what ends up happening. You focus on growing that small account or whatever account size quickly. You can use a proprietary blend of the big money footprints for those proven odds in your favor with instant access to that hot list of good stocks of viable stocks you can do it from anywhere on any device and then you specialize so you can profit in different conditions whether bullish or bearish so here's kate and she has made over a hundred thousand on um on puts that she used she traded the market down during the covid crisis and she's been one of our long-standing members as well in fresno california and then yeah, you know, there is a sort of club, if you like, un unofficial, but there's a bunch of people who have 10x their accounts with us over the years. And that would be something you could hope to aspire to do. And also what we also provide at this moment in time, while things are small, personalized guidance from a top coach to help you achieve your goals and set a routine for you in this program that I'm about to offer you right now. And of course, support is unlimited as well. And you've seen our, the reactions we have to our support. So here was General Electric not that long ago. You click a button, you see it's in your list. You go and look at the charts with the knowledge you've got from the training I've given you in a very short space of time. You confirm that that's a good one. Big money footprints are there. Yeah, I like that one. And you trade it. And then the entry was $8.05. The exit was $13. Profit $61.74% in, um, in just a, a few weeks time. And again, you trade it as per my safe trading plan that I give you. Now, 
For some people, it'll take one winning trade and they're, 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 they're up and away. With Vince, he has a seven out of 10 win ratio, had $34,000 of profit on one Apple trade after earnings. I told you about that. And again, if you could 3X your account in six months, how would that feel? It'd feel pretty good, I'd imagine. Not to say that it's a guarantee that you will, but people have done it. Enough people have done it. And if you had the tools and the training, the coaching to reach those goals and to help you set reasonable goals as well, hopefully that would mean something interesting for you as well. Here's Henry. Love him because he, he only joined last year. And within a few months, he goes, um, I started with uh, optimistic goals. I'm easily reaching my trading goals. Over $38,000 of profits from just three trades. Here's what the institutional quanti people say, those clever people. Remember, our system that they're using, which is similar to what we do in retail as well, is you know up here, that's the blue one. And then the S&P is the red one. That's done really well, but not compared to us. We're 10xing that. But they say using institutional standards um, of financial modeling, the OVI stands up to rigorous scrutiny as a valuable, logical, and robust indicator, highly valuable in predicting broad market sentiment and identifying individual stocks that subsequently perform. That's what the top people are saying about this. But the newbies are saying something nice as well. So people like you potentially, first and foremost, using the OVI has increased my confidence. It almost feels unfair or like cheating. It's not cheating, by the way. It's just we've got information, public information that we're distilling in a particular way. And it is certainly not cheating. It's just scarce. Um, the downside risk feels very low as well. I've learned to take my profits. And he has had trades up 70 to 550% in gains. Pretty cool. This is John. He's an established person in the States, in Texas. And he's been through the mill of a lot of things in trading. And this was a really interesting one because it's recent. And he said, the OVI was by far, is by far the best program I have ever done. I also love the personal relationship with everyone. This is important. You're part of a community as well. So here are the simple steps you can take with that cup of coffee in the morning or wherever you want to do it. You log in to the private area, you click a button for that fast filter, and then you get access to the stocks displaying those big money footprints. And you know through your training whether it's a trade or whether you might not want to trade it for that particular one and you know, wait for a better one uh, a bit later on. Again, this is how it feels. You see an opportunity like CRISPR, like we found only a few days ago, and there's 37% profit in seven days. This is what Joel said. I actually mentioned that before. Greatest gift is your software, which saves time. And of course, with time means you can do it anytime, any place, whether you're just waiting in the car, waiting to, you know, for me, I'm waiting for my kids at the school, or whether it's on holiday in front of a drink or at the bar or just something where I'm just hanging out. A lot of my stuff that I do really, I just do it in bed with a cup of coffee in the morning and I'm, I'm done within a few minutes. And so you see trades like this coming up like Boeing and all of them are the same. They're all using scarce information. Each one of these trades here looks pretty much identical, doesn't it? The big money footprints are there. The setup is the same. And this is a phenomenal thing because you're not having to do lots of different things and look for the next holy grail. Thank you.